article Hope Today from Faith Builders Ministries. I've been pondering this week on how many last names I've had, and I've only been married once. And so you may say, well, how, how in the world could you have so many last names? Well, when my mom got married, and she got married seven times, um, she had a new last name, of course. And when she took that on, I was pretty young through all those marriages. Um, she just had me write their last name as well. And I remember it, with each man, I remember distinctly with each man, there came an identity with him. So when she would marry a rich man, I would write his last name and I would take on that persona. But so would, even at a young age, but so would my peers. Um, you know, when I'd go to school and I had money and everything, I took on that identity. But in maybe uh, two years down the road, she would get married again and she would marry a drug addict. Well, then I would take on that persona. I would have that kind of covering over me, that dark covering over me. And then so would all my peers view me as that, even though at that time I didn't do drugs. But because I had, I took on that last name, or at least wrote that down on paper, people connected me and identified me through that last name. And I was wondering about us being children of God and how we take on his, the last name, how we take on Christian, if you will, as so, sort of his last name. And how we're supposed to take on his identity and get our value through him. And so often times we not even as grownups, we let our peers put a label on us. Well, you're the mother of so-and-so. Well, you're the wife of so-and-so. Or we take a job and we get our identity and value through that. And I really believe with all my heart that this is for someone out there that the Lord wants you to take on his identity, who he is through you who he is in you. And, you know, you are a child of God. You are um, healed by his stripes. You're the head, not the tail. You go over, not under. You are, you are, stand righteousness in front of him. Stand righteous. You are a overcomer by the word of the God, by the word of God. You are more than enough, better, greater who is in you than who is in the world. Um, I just have a, a, a list here. We've been crucified with uh, Christ. We are accepted and, and beloved. We are free from condemnation. Um, above only and not believe, beneath. We're an overcomer, firmly rooted and built up and established in the faith of God, born of God. And we're his disciples. We will, we're not moved by what we see, but why we know, but by what we know. I think it's Second Corinthians 5, 7 that says, um, we walk by faith, not by sight. I just really feel like so many people are struggling out there because they have taken on a name and that whole identity with that name has become who you are and where you get your value. And I want to say there is freedom. I'm telling you, I had a hard time. There was like six different, my, my mom married my dad twice. So there was like six different um, men's last names that I took on um, when my mom married them. I really had to give all that to God. Um, I'm rich in the spirit, but I'm not, I mean, I cannot take on the 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 identity of a rich person because that only lasted for a moment. It's like God was showing me, you know, the drug, the druggie, the drug addicts, you know, that identity lasted just for a moment. The richness just lasted for a moment. Um, my dad was in prison and a, a gang member that lasted for a moment, but who I am in Christ lasts in eternity. So it's so important. I'm not saying that your last name isn't important as your father and mother isn't important. They're very important. God put them here to, to, to guide you and trusted you trusted them with you. But what I am saying is don't find your identity in that. Don't find your value in that. Find your value for who you are in Christ because you're more than enough. Your value, God values you so much that he's counted every hair on your head. And we lose a hundred a day. So he's always keeping up with how many hairs are on our head. He cares for you so much that every tear you've ever cried, he has collected in a jar. He cares for you so much that he has tattooed your name. According to Isaiah 49, 16, on the palm of his hands and your walls are ever before him. He cared for you so much. The main and most important thing of all is that he gave his only begotten son. So that you, to die, so we could have life. And so I want to encourage you today. 
If you are making that mistake out there that you are finding your value through who you are and what you do in the world, your title in the world, I want to encourage you today that I want you to find your value in who Jesus is in you. Because that's where our true value comes. Man, I knew me before I knew Jesus. And I wasn't nothing. I mean, the Word of God says we're filthy rags. Exactly. And it's who I am in Christ that makes me worth anything. It's who I am in Christ and who He is in me. Yay, man! Yay, man! So that's good news for somebody out there that's trying to get their value out of their job title or being a mother or being a um, a wife to a certain man that has prestige or whatever. Or it just doesn't matter. I mean, that's all great, but don't find your value in that. Find your value in Jesus. <laughs> that's where I found my value, and I am as happy as I can be. All right. God bless you. You know what I say. You go out there and you be willing to be an answer to someone else's prayer today. Amen? Amen! Because that's what I'm fixing to do. Bye-bye.